Hello and welcome back. Um, I'm back from my holiday and I can't actually show you any photos because the phone and the computer don't want to talk to each other at the moment. Uh, this happens sometimes when Microsoft does updates. Um, it's, yeah, I'm not even going to think about it. I've just spent an hour trying to get the things off of the phone. So I'm having to redo this introduction. I did on the phone and I did a walk around of the trek, which you'll see in a moment. Um, this is a bit of a different project. Uh, it's quite a small one, but it's a bit tricky because I couldn't find a schematic for this particular um, circuit. It looks like a double amplifier circuit or something um, or a microphone that's or a speaker that's used as a microphone or something like that. I have um, checked everything in it and all the transistors and the resistors are all good. I've replaced all the Hunts capacitors, those diabolical things. And I, yeah, I still can't get it to work properly. But, um, yeah, so if anyone's got any ideas about uh, a circuit diagram for one of these uh, Scalitrix very, very early 60s control towers, uh, please let me know in the comments. So it is a, a standard control tower which ran until the late 60s, early 1970s. Um, but the first couple of years you could get, get it with uh, a PA system. So I'll show you on in a moment. But yeah, it's like a, a two inch speaker as a handpiece with a switch on the back. And I don't want to take the speaker out in case, well, I can't get the speaker out without destroying the whole thing. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll do a quick walk around about my track and then I'll get into the video. This week we have something a little bit different and it's um, a control tower from a Scalitrix or Scalitrix set from the early 60s. They stopped making these in about 65, uh, 63 I believe because uh, there's nothing on the in the catalogue with uh, this particular setup in it. Um, they did continue making these control towers until the early 70s or the very, very late 60s, but not with the electronics in it. So this consists of a speaker
and a small amplifier in there um, and this which I think is a um, microphone because you're supposed to put your mouth up to that and put it through there but I don't know quite what this whether this is one or not because there was three units of these there and they all had different setups so let's really untangle that from there we can yep and um, yeah so it's a bit of a mystery what this part is but I'm pretty sure it's a microphone I don't know whether we can get this out without breaking it I don't want, I don't want to break this because it's 60 years old two end pieces yep squeeze that together maybe and this is bending come out come out oops no and uh, there we go straighten that out easily enough so this only seems to be aluminium and it's got a speaker in it so and then a switch on the back just a momentary switch um, See if I can get the speaker out. Which isn't going to be easy. And I've just put a hole in it, but that doesn't matter. I've got plenty of these speakers. In fact, I've got a couple here. Is that the right size? Yeah, so these are a dime a dozen, these speakers. But I uh, didn't really want to break it. So that, that's got a screw fitting on it. Anyway, we'll leave that till later probably doesn't need to be taken apart anyway it's just my curiosity um, so this one has been a little bit butchered but the rest of it was in nice con better condition than the others so oh, I see I'm not sure whether it what it runs on oh my lord transistors wow uh, okay so there's three little screws there and this has a bit of a crack through or something no it's just a stain Whoops, sorry about that. Right. Let's see if we can get this through enough. There we go. Oh, it's got a nice big spider in there. 
it doesn't look dead, or is it? So down there. No, it's dead. So even old toys it seems now I couldn't find any information on what this actually does other than make a noise of course oh okay so that has little British patent British made 2k ones These are definitely selenium transistors, three of them, three 2K ones, so that would be for the power. Um, these are hunts, so anyone who's worked on British equipment from the 60s will know that these are the worst capacitors ever made 100 8 50 100 and we'll have to come out for me to work it out 150 so I'll get some capacitors and we'll recap it right so the first one is out and we'll just see how bad it is you can see that yep uh, actually it's not too bad is it it's um yeah, it's a 50 and it's 56 at 0.75 ohms so that's not too bad but I guess this is sort of very low low usage and very uh, yeah but oh, I'm going to recap it anyway just for the fun of it if these leads on these capacitors will reach I'm a bit reluctant to use these and I have thought about going down to JK and they're open and um, yeah just I think yeah okay so these are the Nichicon um, audio ones these are marked audio KTs and yes they're getting very hard to get they seem to have stopped making a lot of these good caps or at least marking them with audio um, I mean you can still get plenty of caps it's suitable for audio use but um, Yes, so when they stop making them and people will find out, people buy them up, buy the truckload and then sell them off at ridiculous prices. So it's not good. Actually, I should power this up and see if it works, shouldn't I, really? But uh, I'll do that in a moment. It's a very, very early PCB board, isn't it? Right, well I'll put that capacitor in, which probably wasn't necessary to change, but um, what I've also done is plugged it in, so we'll turn it on and we'll just see if it works.
Not a sausage. I'm just hoping that the uh, transistors are alright. So I'm going to up the voltage because I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I'll have to reset this because it's limited to 6.1 volts at 0.25 amps. Right, so what I'll do is I'll slowly bring it up. Twelve volts. Right, that's nine volts. I wonder if this actually turns it on. Well, it is actually drawing current as it goes from zero amps up to zero zero seven amps. So it's point double oh seven amps. And it's on nine volts. So I'll bring it up to Okay, so we're on 9 volts again. Testing 1, 2. Bring it up to 12. Testing one, two. No. It is clicking though. You won't be able to hear that, but it is making a noise. And I'll press this button in. And it's point double O eight amps now. So we'll continue on with the recapping and we'll see what we can do. Right, so I've connected it all up again. Uh, all the new caps are in there, except for this one here. Um, so if I can bring you in a bit closer. Again, this lift up a bit. Right, so this one here is um, very, very close. So the terminal for it is right down in there so it's that one in there and yeah so it's a little bit close to this volume pot and I don't want to destroy this volume pot so I'll leave it in there for now and um, the other end is up here so it goes across that way but we'll see how we go um, so that's all connected up the black wire or the negative came adrift which is hardly surprising um, yeah so I'll bring it back down to uh, 
six volts again not one volt not that will do okay so it's on seven volts and it's still making that noise when you switch this hello 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 now i can't tell whether this is doing anything or not it's not loud but hello 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 so we'll try upping the voltage a bit and that's 10 volts and it's still mm, slightly drawing 004 amps so that's a tiny amount oh, that sounds a bit more like it hello hello there has to be a microphone or something somewhere or I don't know what this is supposed to do to be quite honest it's obviously an amplifier of some description but what's it supposed to amplify looks like I'm going to have to call on Pete again uh, to get some transistors there are four in here all right now I can't mm, can I get to those not easily and get to and get to that one that one and that one without desoldering them so I'll try that and we'll be back now, very carefully I haven't tested this before so I don't know what this is going to come up as okay so PMP Germanian HFE of 105 so that's a good transistor right I've um, connected this up now it's playing the radio through it uh, through this cable here and one of the leads is going to this speaker so that's not quite right but if I It's a really bad pollen day out there, so I'm going to be sneezing every, every five minutes. Even though I've taken some antihistamines. Um, okay. So when I press this uh, button, you can hear it. Makes a funny noise, like a rattling noise. And if I come up this end, the other speaker operates. But the 
volume control doesn't work on any of them. noise in this speaker now. Where is it? And when it's working on that speaker, it the switch actually does something, it turns it off. So I've obviously got the So what I'm going to do is try disconnecting this lead and we'll put it onto something else down at this end. So I need three hands for this, really. Uh, where are the connections? So it's probably the, the power is on the red and the yellow, which are down here, those two. There and there. And the blue and the black are down here. So it's that one and that one, I think, no? So it's, no, it's that one and... <laughs> so it's that one and that one. The blue and the black. Which seem to be the speaker connections for this. So we'll try... Putting one on here. And the white one. Down to here. No. I don't particularly want to destroy this speaker, but it's well and truly um, jammed in there because the, the frame is actually bent by the, uh, the plastic. Try it in this end. So this goes to this ground plane here. Ah. Right. So that on off switch is doing something now. So I'm going to blow my nose and I'll be back. What I'll do is I'll disconnect this speaker and um, we'll connect the a better speaker to it. And try not to do this without burning anything. I'll just chop that off, I think. Be easier. This is pretty ratty speaker. 
it's uh, a very early one of these and it's still not going to sound fantastic because the radio is not in a great position and it's probably got flat batteries by now separate those a little bit further hopefully that'll do better so this one was connected up to here and oh okay don't know whether you can hear that or not but it shouldn't be down there the the switch is operating should be on this one over here although that goes right round So there must be something down here which is open so if I can get and the volume control isn't doing anything Those two seem to be our best sounding ones. So let's leave and get this to connect and stay on. bad sending one uh. right so I've um, replaced that last tons cap and it wasn't good but it doesn't seem to have made any difference to the circuit so I'm, I'll demonstrate. And of course the volume control does absolutely nothing. And that's where it should come in. that's connected up to the other input ah, 
that's both of them. Oh, no, it's not. That's both of them again. But it doesn't sound very good. Yes, I can't quite understand it. Now, it should be just a simple, plain amplifier, but given that it's got two speakers, I assume that that is working as some sort of microphone. Yeah, I mean, it's really bizarre. And these are probably not the best uh, resistors either but uh, yeah it's, it's a bit bizarre if anyone knows where I can find one of the a circuit for this um, please let me know in the comments I've just tried oh, I'm just trying a bit of an experiment here um, this is a microphone obviously and what I'll do is I'll connect up the power again and turn it on and we'll see if we get anything out of the main speaker. Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? Wrong impedance. Actually seems to be doing something. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. Right. So that speaker was a mi acting as a microphone. Now, this microphone, I have no idea what impedance it is. It's off a piece of junk. one of these crappy bits of junk boards which I picked up it's got two microphones on it so it was obviously used for something stereo um, hmm Okay, well, it, that suggests the amplifier is working. Now, we're just going to match the impedance up, don't we, the microphone. 